Right to the foot. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Melvin Ingram dropping the hammer off the edge. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So a tough road here on second and very long. A final shot before half for Locke. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. Seven nothing due to time constraints. We move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. To kick off for Denver. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Number 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they... Nowhere to get away, and down he goes. Taylor is sacked. It's a one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Third and long, Taylor and company hoping to regroup after the sack. Taylor on third down, throws incomplete. But the Piers are going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench, but this gives them a chance. To let their defense do some work, but they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and possession will switch hands first and ten. Lock and the Broncos going to come up first and ten at their own 24. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. At the 24-yard line. Throwing again. Block. That'll be caught by the rookie, K.J. Hamler. And he's brought down after a very nice game. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. From midfield, here's Locke. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 
just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space. It turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That's good. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And yeah, they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Second and 10 now. Third quarter action in Denver. Goes back to Sutton. This time completes it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. I know a lot of Denver fans are really excited about the possibilities for Cortland Sutton now that Drew Locke is entrenched as their starting quarterback. Remember, last season, the last five games with Locke as the guy in charge, the team went 4-1. I think they'll only get better and better. As for the season, Cortland Sutton had 1,112 yards and six touchdowns with three different quarterbacks. Just put the ball in his vicinity, and he'll make a play. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there, pushes this to fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. No good. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. Caught by Allen. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. To Keenan Allen. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Second and five at the 25-yard line. Taylor. Allen's got it complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Chargers. Taylor a handoff. It's Eckler. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of two. Brings up three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second and 12, Taylor. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. The sack by Todd Davis. A blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback. And you know what a free runner turns into? A free hitter. Third and 19, no problem, as they're able to convert. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of them while you've got them rocked on their heels. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. To throw again on second down. Taylor. And he's going to find that man yet again. Keenan Allen. Complete to Keenan Allen. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They're able to convert with a gain of four. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Complete, Hunter Henry with the ground. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a gain of 10. A 10 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Got 
throwing now. Taylor on first down. And caught by Henry. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. This duo locked in 14 yards there. And a first down. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. First and 10 right at the 20. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Second and 14. Throwing again, it's Taylor. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Austin Eckler, the intended target. And it's third down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They go play action with Taylor. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Tyron Taylor. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line has happened. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. They've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. To throw is locked. Screen pass to Lindsey. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Lindsey on the toss left. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. And let's check on the call. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. So here we go, Charles, third down. Any chance you're throwing? I don't think so. I think you got to keep the clock rolling here. Indeed, they will keep it on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was 
Well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three, and they got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So this one will wind up a Denver victory, and not all Ws are created equal, CD, and this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah.